Okay, uh, Henry Payne, whose uh, uh, studio will be on Google very soon, about two weeks. You'll be able to see what great work he does in fine art tradition of uh, Ansel Adams or other people you might be familiar with, but better, much better. And we're at a park here, a public park, with a camera that was designed by me on a napkin and engineered by Henry. <laughs> so uh, uh, we're looking at trees, people, and the whole with a pinhole camera, uh, 11 by 14, which is huge. That's uh, over a square feet of film. And we're going to be shooting with the, with the pinhole, no lens. There'll be no lens on this camera, and I'll show you the details in a minute. Um, and we're going to get it down to two seconds. Now, for any of you guys who know anything about film at all, and I don't know how many of you do, but the film, uh, uh, two-second exposure for a pinhole camera is uh, kind of an amazing feat. And we're using uh, P55 uh, new R3 uh, developer, which Henry has improved. Got it down to six seconds, but not with any, any fogging. And with uh, two second exposure on the camera, which is, to give you an idea, is normally six minutes. So two seconds to six minutes on a huge piece of film. Uh, four by five is, I give you an idea, is 20 square inches. This is a square foot of film. That's how much bigger it is. Huh? What did you say? Oh, it's a foot and a half. Henry's corrected me. It's a foot and a half. That's that's even more than I thought. An eight by ten is just a water pistol compared to this thing. So it's a pinhole. Uh, we built it. We have video up on the internet. You can build it yourself. But Henry put in a lot of improvements, so you won't have half the nightmare that we did. This is a pretty solid arrangement. So we're ready to go. Anytime now. Uh, Henry's going to get the film out. We don't trust. Um, you don't trust anything. So you see Henry had a valise to cover the keep the film in. The film holder goes right into that box that he designed so that it fits snugly. And you can buy the basic box and then after that you need to improve it a lot. Um, so you can see it's in there snug now. Now that isn't a plastic film holder. Relatively cheap. And by cheap I mean less than 200 bucks. The wood film holders um, are 450 to 600 dollars even if you buy them from China so you're looking at when you want to take a shot here you're going to be spending several hundred dollars however an 11 by 14 camera with the lens and all that and all this shit is about 13,000 I'm not making that up you get used gear for 7,000 so you're looking at a total outlay here of less than 800 dollars including the gigantic tripod which we bought used so buy what you can use, buy what you can new, but save money because it's going to cost you. Okay, so our, our film's in there. He's going to remove the dark slide and be careful here, folks. You don't want to jiggle crap. Remove the dark slide with a lot of confidence because he's got the felt and the light seal so perfectly worked out that we don't have to worry about pulling the dark slide all the way out, which used to be a bitch. Now in the wind, this box is much better than a regular 11x14 because it's much smaller. There's no bellows to jiggle around. Actually, the whole thing is so much lighter that you might, if you're strong enough, carry it up on a mountain. It's lighter than 8x10 camera and all that gear. So it's possible. And you got the muscles. You can do this. Just putting the thing back in and... I'm the thing. That's your dark slide. You am going to give you a step ladder. Henry, how many seconds was that? I gave it four because the lights dropping. Okay, we're, we're 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 heading for two seconds. Henry I mean, had a day we could do two, but uh, huh? you know it's after. Yeah, well we missed we missed a strong light, so that was a four second exposure. That's still, like I said, six minutes is normal, and uh, four seconds is um, well four seconds is a whole lot better than six minutes. I mean. Uh, there's 106 times 60 is 360 seconds, and we did it in four. So, um, so as you can see, this is designed to go vertical, and all we need to do now we know we need a quick uh, clip here for this thing. Uh, you learn by experience. You just we just designed and engineered and built it. 
if you look at the stripes on it, is there more hints on how to uh, um, see? We also have a, 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 a viewfinder of sorts, a Gersey viewfinder up there. So also take in the view. Uh, you can shoot with a lot of confidence. I'd say with these two techniques together, 95%. So you don't actually need a ground glass, and if you had a ground glass, because it's a pinhole, and it's a very tiny hole, and it's brass, we didn't use cheap crap, um, you'll see that um, you cannot use a ground glass on a good pinhole camera. You just cannot. There's just not enough of a view. I'm going to move forward now. Forgive my sloppiness. And I'm going to shoot Henry from the front. Okay, we're going to do this um, showing an infinite depth of field. This, I'm doing really close to this tree. And as we that speak, so uh, it's very, very wide. We also have absolutely no fogging. I'm going to okay. step back. Most of these things have fogging. We fixed all the light leaks, sealed inside the box. Oops, sorry. Sealed inside the box. Sealed the bolts that go into the box. Painted it. Put in red felt. And believe me, you need to do all of that because there's tiny light leaks and you don't see them. You do a four-hour exposure and then you go, oh shit. So we took care of all the different light leaks. We shoot with a lot of confidence. So I was doing horizontal. And we got it up. He's counting the seconds. He's got the tree and the kids and the, the whole park in position now. And ready to go. And what do you got? Another four seconds. That's another four seconds. Uh, Henry, give me a minute. Now I want to show you guys something why Henry can actually do that instead of counting seconds and playing with the dark slide like a moron. We don't do that. What you can see here is, and I can't see it, I need more light on this thing. <laughs> and there you go, you can see it. What you can see, see, why did you do that? You just exposed me. No. Okay, well what you can see here is that we have a shutter, which, um, which all it is is for is, is to protect the film. So you can leave your dark slide in, you can leave your dark slide out, cock the shutter, that's when you take the exposure. It's a gigantic convenience. It takes some engineering, but uh, once, uh, it's definitely worth it. You'll bless yourself every time you go through the hell of putting one of these together. Again, Light Leak City, you need a big, big, big wide uh, shutter. And that's an old shutter, like from turn of the century. Okay, so I'll get out of your way again. Again, lines of vision. Uh, sorry. All right, back in the valise. Again, you, you cannot trust uh, film. Big pieces of film, I don't care what you pay. There's always the possibility of a tiny microscopic light leak which will just ruin your day uh, forever. I'm going to show you the inside of this thing. That was a Stockton siren, and basically it's an empty box. So, uh, in Stockton, we like to kill uh, at least one person a day, uh, shoot them in the face, usually along Martin Luther King Boulevard, to uh, kill a few people uh, over bullshit. We usually drunken parties and so forth. And we like to kill them on the, on the highway, uh, at least one a day on the highway. Basically, we keep the population down here in Stockton with all the riffraff. One <laughs> of <laughs> these ancient photographers. And here we go. I'm following Henry with this contraption. I have the uh, Samsung S6 Edge. Um, I don't have a gimbal on it because I wanted to put it on a tripod for most of the time. So I hope you can understand that I'm not the steadiest person in the world with the tripod in the air. So, I uh, guess we'll try it 
Well, I don't like that angle because the sun's right in my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was talking to myself. Okay, and to our crowd. And again, you can see those stripes. Uh, even if you didn't have the, uh, even if you didn't have, you can see that little viewfinder. Could you point it out again, Henry? Even if you didn't have that, those stripes will work for you. Absolutely work for you. So, like I said, Henry has engineered every problem right out of this shit. So you can have an 11 by 14. What's that good for? For any of you printers out there who do uh, wet Caledon, or any of you guys out there who do photo etching, or like in my case, I do some photo lithography and calligraphy, a giant negative is hard to get of your own. You have to enlarge it and all that kind of shit. So you shoot, shoot your own with a camera you can afford, and we've made it easy for you. That, uh, that you're just looking at that dark slide, that's a wooden dark slide, and it's pricey as hell. So be careful with those. And um, they're great though. So for the printmakers who like to print and do three color engraving and contact printing, now you can make your own print. You don't need to buy a $8,000 lens, and that's what they cost, boys and girls. Uh, my last lens was cheapy. We refurbished it and rebuilt it. What was that, three grand? Anyway, it was a lot. And um, the only thing new on it was the shutter. So imagine uh, if you're going to buy a new lens today for that. You can't. Um, again, we've got the horizontal. Did it work? Yeah. Pardon me? One of those dark slides Oh, we blew one? Shit happens. So, like again, anything dealing with this big, you know, you can expect uh, you will have a problem, no doubt. Uh, you'll have a problem. Just okay. So you're saying that's broken? No, it's just this particular one is really tight on one side. Oh. That's on when I was loading. That yeah, could be humidity or something. Anyway, that's wood, so. Uh, it's better than plastic, but nothing's perfect. So we're down to shooting our film back in the valise. That's double protection. And you can see the inside of the box, again, is empty. Uh, what we've done is, and I'll just walk up to, I don't know if you can even see it, is, and it's just a dark hole, but what we've done is we put a yellow filter right here behind the lens, behind the lens, and that's strictly to add clouds and also make it simpler. So if you, uh, if you want clouds, you're going to need a yellow filter. Are you going to fuck around with the yellow filter when you're with that? No. So Henry built it on the inside. We just forget it. We're hoping to get some color film. At which point. We may or may not use UV, uh, depending on the uh, uh, what kind of film we're using. We might use an 81A if it's if it's uh, f um, transparency. I do have the 11 by 17 scanner. Uh, I also have the uh, Epson 750 scanner, but with the 850 um, holders. And if you notice, Henry's doing all the work, and I get the yak. So <laughs> I'm moving again. Bear with this, please. Oh, look, a palm tree. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we can try it from this side, if that helps. And get a little bit more of what Henry's shooting. And it looks like the monkey bars and stuff for the children. And I don't know what he's doing now. So I have no idea, but he's old. You know, so what was that about? I didn't want that crap in the picture. Marking what? Okay. You set? 
Last one. Last uh, shot, last sheet of film. Uh, after this is done, uh, we will be doing another broadcast. Um, uh, this is on Meerkat. I would prefer Tarsi, but it's to save the video, but I'll see if I can save it on Meerkat. And if not, maybe I can put it up on YouTube. What's next is film gets developed in the uh, P55 R3 new film developer in six seconds. And Henry has solved the fogging, chemical fogging problem. We have solved all the mechanical problems, but chemical fogging problem is serious with that stuff. And then, once we get our nags, I will do a video on scanning them on the large scanner. So literally, you're going from a foot and a half of film, analog film, to the biggest, cleanest digital image you can get. And you can put that up and do whatever you want with it. You can turn it into color or, or whatever you like to do with it. Or you can, in my opinion, Start printmaking, real paper, real ink on paper. Do do just knock yourself out. If you can afford it now and just go crazy with another way of making printmaking, but it's all your own. So are are we done? Yeah. Okay, so we're done and we're, we're signing off. I hope you liked it. I, I can't do uh, comments out here uh, in the park because we'll probably get raped and robbed. Thank you.